Hello, I'm Cheryl Benjamin, and for many years, I was the executive director of the Vascular Disease Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to increasing awareness and education about vascular disease. Although awareness has come a long way, today PAD is still a serious but underdiagnosed and undertreated disease. I have known and worked with the Newmans for many years. Their vascular diagnostic systems are designed to easily allow the user to perform the ABI and other lower arterial extremity tests according to the latest ACC AHA guidelines and also to meet the criteria for CMS reimbursement for these tests. Thank you for your interest in the Newman Medical Systems for the Diagnosis of Peripheral Artery Disease, PAD. This series of videos covers the setup of the simple ABI cufflink systems and how to perform the standard exams, including a reimbursable single-level ABI study, a TBI study using a PPG, a multi-level segmental study, and the vascular stress exam. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us and we will be glad to assist you. Wrapping cuffs correctly will make exams easier and results consistent. Select the proper size cuff about 20% wider than the diameter of the limb. Typically, 12 centimeter cuffs are used for the arm and 10 centimeter for the ankle. 12 centimeter cuffs are used at the calf and 12 centimeter long or 17 centimeter contoured cuffs may be used on the thigh. Newman Medical offers additional cuff sizes for different sized limbs. Small digit cuffs are used for the toes. Now, at the ankle, again start by wrapping the bladder portion first. Place the cuff under the ankle and wrap it around the ankle, holding it in place with one hand while wrapping it with the other. Try to wrap it straight. You can rotate it around to get the hose out of the way of the artery. When wrapping the cuffs on the legs, the patient may try to hold their leg up to help, but ask them not to because when they relax their leg, the cuff may loosen. When wrapping digital cuffs on the toe, try to wrap it down on the toe far enough that you will still be able to get the PPG probe on the end of the toe. Correct use of the Doppler is critical to accurate results for ABI and segmental tests. It may take practice to become comfortable using the Doppler, but you will soon gain confidence. Start by holding the probe like a writing pen. It helps to rest your hand on the patient's limb to steady the probe. With any Doppler probe, use plenty of gel. Hold the probe at a 45 degree angle to the skin for the best sound. Point the probe proximally along the length of the artery. Press lightly so that you don't press on the artery so much that you occlude the flow with the probe tip. Slowly move the probe across the artery until you hear the loudest sounds. A key when taking pressures is to be able to keep the probe in place as the cuff is inflated and deflated, even when the sound disappears when the artery is occluded by the cuff. The Newman Medical Angled Standoff, or Cheater, can help with holding the probe at the correct angle and keeping it in place. The cheater also helps to keep from pressing so hard with the probe that the artery is occluded. When taking the arm pressure, the radial artery is usually preferred because it is easier to find. However, the brachial artery may also be used. Lightly palpate the artery and place the Doppler probe where a pulse is felt. For the dorsalis pedis, or DP, find the artery by putting your finger between the bones of the great and next toe and slide towards the ankle until you feel the pulse. Again, use plenty of gel and move the probe back and forth to find the loudest arterial sounds. Be sure not to press too hard here as the artery lies over metatarsal bones and can easily be occluded by pressing too hard with the Doppler probe. For the posterior tibial or PT, find the artery on the inside of the ankle. The PT is usually about a half an inch or so below and behind the ankle bone, about halfway between the ankle bone and the end of the Achilles tendon. Try to palpate the artery first. A PPG sensor may be used to pick up a pulse in a digit. The Newman Medical PPG sensor is a unique sensitive audio probe that produces a beep for each pulse it detects. The PPG is most often used on the toe along with a digit blood pressure cuff to determine the toe pressure. Wrap the flexible strap around the toe distal to the cuff. It should be snug, but not too tight. It may help to tape down the cord from the PPG sensor to avoid stray signals from patient motion. Let the patient relax for a moment while listening for the audible beep.